Well, hey guys, good afternoon. I um, have been working. I filmed a uh, video for you guys this morning and got some work done for, for work work. But for lunch, I just whipped up a batch of my um, protein cauliflower oats. If you're interested, check out the, my recipe video that I did on that. A lot of you guys seem to enjoy it. But I did, I'm, I've been doing sort of an apple cinnamon versus a chocolate one uh, because I haven't had the cacao um, chai elixir. Uh, but um, I'll show you, here it is. So, so here's how it came out today, you know, per usual. And if you're new here, this is something that I really enjoy and have pretty much every day I want to say um, and I use the um, I've been just using the organic cauliflower rice that I get at Costco love this stuff I use a serving of that um, a serving of uh, vegan protein powder and a serving of uh, just plain rolled oatmeal I love steel cut oats but um, this is just plain rolled oatmeal this whole earth you'll remember I got this a few I don't know hauls or whatever back um, I'm really liking it uh, I got this using Ibotta and so I got a pretty substantial rebate and was really happy with it. Now it's monk fruit, erythritol, um, a little bit of fructose and shikari root um, and stevia. So it's kind of a mambo combo. I don't know what. Alright so I just ate that and it was delicious and I um, also had a grapefruit which was quite refreshing. It's still citrus season here. This is the gum that I've been enjoying, Trident. I get this at Costco. Um, but extra sugar-free gum that the brand extra because every time I chew that I get an irritant dermatitis immediately I think there's something in there that I've developed a sensitization to and I get allergic contact chelitis as a result of it but yeah, so I just came in here <laughs> going in the dark into the bathroom uh, to get some to uh, replenish uh, my barrier here since I'm getting a little dry this is 46.5% petrolatum, so it's a little bit darker. So it's a little bit darker. It's a lot thicker than just the petrolatum and Vaseline. And yes, petrolatum is fine to apply to the skin. It's not dangerous. Um, no need to worry about that. You don't want to put this on your on your face because it will break you out. Okay, petroleum, petrolatum should not. Petrolatum and mineral oil are completely safe but um, they tend to clog the pores. So they're great for like heels, thick areas, um, on the hands and soles, and around your lips uh, when they get dry like this. Um, so I've really been enjoying that. They're really, this is also really good around your nails too. Don't push your cuticles back, I've said that before. <laughs> but here's why I like this. Uh, also it has ceramides in it, which um, help restore the skin barrier, so. So yeah, love that. And in addition to getting some work done today, I filmed a um, I filmed a skincare haul for you guys. Check it out. Look at all these goodies that I got. Um, this is everything that I brought back from the uh, from the conference that I went to. Um, and look at the swaggy bag Neutrogena gave me. This is gonna be great for uh, the beach. But um, yeah, so a ton of great products that I was able to get there as a conference registrant. Just, uh, just uh, if you're new here, I am obsessed with this turmeric chai elixir from Golden Goddess Spice Farm. And um, yesterday I showed you that I got some from the Amazonian. Some sort of adaptogen in it, uh, ashwagandha. I have no idea if that, if I am saying that right, or if, uh, you know, what exactly that's beneficial for in, in health, but I just really love the taste of this stuff. And I did find anecdotally uh, that that ingredient seemed to enhance my focus somehow. This doesn't have any caffeine, maybe it's got something else, um, but I'm gonna try this today. Um, this is the, I picked this up a, a while back. Um, it's the Beauty Dust um, Moon Juice Supplement, herbal supplement that I'm gonna give a whirl today. So I thought it'd be fun to try this today and share it with you guys. It says, Beauty Dust is a radiant edible formula to expand your beauty, luster, and glow from within. Alchemized with organic and wildcrafted herbs, adaptogenic plants, and bioactive minerals. Um, it says, store in a cool, dry place. Um, and it says, to get moon dusted, you mix one teaspoon with eight ounces of water, nut milk, coffee, tea, or smoothie. And I know in the cafe, they incorporate this into a variety of foods, and I believe they, um, there are even like recipes that you can use with this. You can make a chia pudding with this. Um, but I'm gonna follow the instructions um, and give it a whirl. I'll open it up for you guys. It's an unjarring. It smells really good. So I've got some water boiling here. Here's what the dust looks like. It comes with one of those silica packets in it, which um, 
don't eat that. Um, I guess that's to keep it dry, but yeah, it looks kind of like dirt. <laughs> So you can see it, it looks almost like a hot chocolate. Um, it smells it smells cinnamony and sort of earthy. Okay, just smelling the just smelling the vapors, it kind of smells like something I don't know, like like I feel like I'm snow white and I'm going into some little gnome world and this is like some sort of sustaining thing that they're giving me. So here we go. It's kind of, it's not bitter. I thought it might be bitter. It's not bitter at all. It's not overly sweet. And it's just, it's just a pleasant aroma. Um, I like this playing with just the water. Mmm, so I'm gonna sip on that. Yeah, I'm really liking that. Uh, I'm actually really liking that. It's very subtle. Um, and I don't know if this has caffeine in it or not, but um, that, that's really pleasant. It is really um, kind of calming and relaxing to have. Um, second up, I'm going to uh, start whipping up a batch of my, excuse me, I got the, I got the beauty ju juice burps. <laughs> I'm gonna start whipping up a batch of my vegan yogurt and I'm gonna try this method today, um, wherein I'm gonna use this coconut milk powder that I got on Vitacost. And I've just been propagating the same little culture forward. So once it gets to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, once it gets to 110 degrees on the stove, I'll just add him in and um, then I'll dump him in my yogurt maker and he'll go overnight. So yeah, and we'll, we'll see, we'll see tomorrow. Okay, um, non-dairy milkers, this is what it's looking like. Um, just added to water, I'm just mixing it up as the package instructed. And if you're new here, the reason I'm heating it on the stove has nothing to do with the, the milk. It has to do with making the vegan yogurt. It has to do with making the yogurt. You have to heat the yogurt up to 110 degrees um, before adding the little starter, before adding the uh, little bugs um, so that they get nice and toasty at just the right temperature. So that's why I do, that's why you do this. Okay, and I'm about to head to the gym. It looks like a uh, rain is about to bluster over so. I hope that, uh, i just got some gum here. I hope that uh, the gym's not too crowded. Um, but update on the uh, vegan yogurt sitch. Um, let's come over here. Um, the coconut yogurt, guys, is uh, jazzing along like, like a trucker. <laughs> like a trucker in uh, my Eurostar cuisine. I'm really happy with that. I hope it tastes good. Um, Honestly though, guys, I kind of like just drinking it uh, without adding, I don't have any light on here, so big, big my pardon. I kind of like just drinking it without any um, thickener. Um, I sort of like it just as is, but uh, to thicken it up, I've added xanthan gum, and I've also added, in the past, I've added, uh, I tried the pectin method that comes with a kit, and I didn't care for that. Anyways, I'm gonna go, go to the gym, hopefully uh, get a good workout in, and uh, yeah. So I did in fact come in with my different again tonight, um, but one of the things, since we've got some new people here, you know, I mentioned, I've mentioned that it's fine to use, um, it's fine to use benzoyl peroxide in combination with, uh, with different, and actually that's how I use it. Um, and I do typically use 10% benzoyl peroxide. I normally keep this product in my travel bag. This is the La Roche Posay 5.5% um, benzoyl peroxide. Um, I just happen to keep it in my travel bag for convenience, basically. I'm just gonna show you guys how I put it on. But I put about that much on my finger, dot, 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 dot on the sides. Then I might do a little more here. Maybe a little bit more. I mean, I really tolerate this well, and this particular formula goes in nice. Then I just rub it around like this. Um, Eustrin is keen on the idea for people with eczema of creating a, a body oil for cleansing the body, particularly with people for with eczema-prone skin, and they, of course, gave me a little sample here. And um, I do, in fact, like this um, as a uh, cleanser for the body for visibly soiled areas. It has um, omega oils in it, which have been shown to be helpful for, um, you know, dry skin and inflammatory skin conditions. So I actually ended up using this um, kind of as a for shave it kind of to create a barrier for shaving my legs I found it, it it worked nicely for that but um anyways do I look any more beauty dusted <laughs> after that I enjoyed that stuff I don't know what it's supposed to do but um 
It was quite calming, probably on placebo, but it tasted delicious. I would probably repurchase it, although it is quite expensive. I would love to go to, uh, I guess it's Venice Beach, and uh, check out the cafe. <laughs> um, it could just be, you know, ground up, uh, ground up skin cells or something. I don't know, but it tasted good. Anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.